you have been looking for a loan of 10,000 to 100 million naira, now I have very important information for you. The Central Bank of Nigeria, together with Smidan, one of the federal government agencies in Nigeria, have come up with different loan schemes that you can apply and get today. And they have very low interest rates. Now, and what I want to do in this video is to walk you through the process of applying. So you need to pay right attention. Watch this video to the end. Smidan is one of the federal government agencies that is responsible for promoting, you know, stimulating, monitoring, coordinating development of the MSMEs sector in Nigeria. Okay, they also initiate articulate policy ideas for micro, small, and medium enterprises growth and development. Now, the full name of Smidan is small and medium enterprises development agency of nigeria okay now with the help of smidan or uh, the partnership of smidan with macro finance and commercial banks in nigeria it has become very possible for any entrepreneur to assess loans up to the tune of 50 million naira so if you are interested please you need to pay attention okay to what i'm about to show you because this is not just about you going online and applying there are terms conditions you know that you need to study very well and which are about to unveil before you start applying for these loans you have to study because different commercial banks different um, microfinance banks are involved and they have different conditions attached to their individual loans so these are the things we'll be revealing both the moratorium okay the interest rate the repayment periods and all that so i'll be telling you the best ones to choose based on the analysis we're we'll making today so if you take a look at uh, this um, interface i believe you are seeing personal loans these are the credit facilities okay the personal loans business loans mortgage and then you also have a credit loans and all that so this now only they need to take a very good look at this it's not called personal loan but personal loans that's because many banks are involved in each of these loans different banks are involved so let us take a look at the personal loans now when you take a look at the personal loans is it meant for now you can use it for holiday you can use it for education you can use it for household you can use it to start a business you can also use it to expand the business you know, it can be used to buy you can also use it to buy a car okay and other other purposes now let us also take a look at the next one which is business loans now we are here this should be business loans let's take a look at the purpose of these business loans let's look at it again okay you can use it to you say it starts a new business you can use it to expand business that's business expansion you can also use it to do agro agric business okay produce locally okay local goods is a good contract mortgage so let's look at the, the other one okay with this one is mortgage pure mortgage loans so you can use this particular loan to buy a house you can use it also to build a house that means you are even talking up about up to 50 million naira here. You also use it to um, build business building, that is business building or even acquire land. Okay, now when you want to apply for this loan, I need you to be very observant before you make mistakes. Like, let me show you something here. Let's assume you want to go for personal loan. You would find out that many banks are involved. Now when you click, tap here you are going to select the part of what you want to use this loan for okay you want to select what is the let us as you want to start a business with it now you tap on start a business okay now the next one you're going to be looking at is age grade now have in mind that if you are less than 18 years of course you are not likely to get this loan as a matter of fact those between the ages of 18 to 25 will get the loan might get the loan but you don't expect you know banks to give them huge loans it's not possible okay because the this age bracket 26 they have banks definitely i know that they they trust this age bracket 26 to 40 uh 40 to 41 to 60 more than 18 to 25 this does not mean you won't get you get definitely you get okay if you're within that age bracket you get but have in mind that the bank might be more, you know, more willing to give to this age bracket okay you know this is and this one now above 60 years then they may not be that active 
So the bank may not like to give this age bracket above 60 years. Okay, I'm just talking from experience. Now, take a look at the locations involved. You can see um, FCT, you can see Lagos, you can see Kaduna. If your state is not here, just select all states. Okay, you just select all states. Now, the next one you're seeing here is a select employment status. What exactly are you into? If you're unemployed, if you're not doing anything, you just tap unemployed. If you are working, work and study, you just tap work and study part time. Whatever you're doing, you have to identify it. Now, here is the loan amount, and this is personal loan. Okay, you may not expect to get more than 200 500,000. I don't think you I don't know if we should let, let, let's just check. So, you just what you're going to do right now is just to select, let's just choose any, any location. Okay, let's select any location. Let's just assume maybe I'm now in Lagos. Okay, so let's meet select something like 500 and see. When you select 500, you have to check if this loan is available. So that is why to be very sure, okay, this is available. So you go for 500,000, going for 500,000, just click on check availability. It's showing me that there is a particular place that I need to feel. Let me check, okay? So I click on check availability. Now, it will bring you to this interface. I need you to study these things. Please study very well. Now, take a look at it. It's 500,000. Now this from here, you can see, take a look here, different um, banks that are involved, okay, mainly microfinance banks. This one is, is the Time Microfinance Bank Limited, okay, and he's saying that the, the maximum, minimum you can get from them, now take a look, the minimum amount you can get from them on personal loan is 50,000, but they are willing to give the maximum, okay, the, you can't go beyond 500,000. Can you see from here? You can get minimum. That is, you cannot. It can't go below fifty thousand, and it can't go beyond five hundred thousand. Now at thirty percent per annum. Okay, can you see this? Thirty percent per annum. Now let us take a look at the another bank. This one says Time Express Agric Loan. Now when you take a look at Agric Loan, Agri Time Express Agric Loan cannot give any. Okay, minimum of the minimum amount is ten thousand. Now. This one is maximum amount is 500,000. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Can you see the interest rate is 20% per annum? Now, the next cooperative loan. Let's take a look at this one Time Microfinance Bank. Okay, um, Time Microfinance Bank. Let's take a look at this one. Is up their interest rate is about 24. Okay, now minimum amount they can, you can get from them is, is 50,000, 50, maximum amount is 500,000. The same thing, let's go to Jay, Jay's Bank. J, Jay, okay, sorry. Is that Jay's Bank? Jay's Bank, okay, Abuja. Now, the that is interest 13,000. 13%, sorry. 13%, and then this one is the minimum amount you can get from them is 200,000. This is very good. That means from you can also get up to 2.5 million naira under this. This is very wonderful. Okay, so let us look at the next one. So, check their interest rate and the lowest i have seen so far is i'm seeing another one that is even very low okay no this one is not low i'm seeing this one is should be per, per annum okay this is per annum this is also per annum please take a look at this don't just rush to apply you are going if you, if you do that you will regret it now take a look at this one this one says four four percent per month this is not good at all because when you multiply it you find out that you're paying even much more higher than the fifteen percent and even other twenty percent. This one is not is not really okay. Okay, you, you can do the calculation. You find out it's not really okay. Now this other one twenty two percent per annum you can get minimum of two thousand naira. Okay, is it two thousand naira? Two thousand naira. Okay, so you now I am also seeing I saw J's bank. Let me take a look at that J's bank thirty percent. If this is that, um, per annum, then it is very good, and you can get up to two, 2.5 million. Can you see that? So these are the things you need to, you know, be you need to check before you apply. Now, when you must have taken a very good. This one says five percent per, per per month, and this is not really good. Okay, it's not it's not good. Except it's not bad. It's not bad, but compared to what we have here, other ones like thirty percent per annum is better. You go for thirty percent per annum. Okay. So let's just assume you want to apply for 
uh, maybe Jays Bank, what are you going to do? Okay, depending on the one you want, please you must not go for Jays Bank. Sometimes people make that mistake. What you're going to do is you click on this, you tap on this, okay, you tap on view details, or uh, detail and apply, view detail and apply. So it's going to bring you to this interface. Can you see? It's going to bring you to this interface. Now I need you to take a look at this. It says repayment period, that is repayment interval, not stated, but this is usually monthly per month one month okay that means if you collect this from next month you are likely you start paying back i don't i've not seen anything like moratorium here so you start paying back immediately that's next month you start paying back so it's monthly repayment period okay so this one borrowing fee borrowing fee this should be like something like service fee okay and uh, then two years then suitable for acquiring a household so if you want to apply for this loan you are what you're going to do is you can come here down you scroll down you fill in your business name okay you fill in your name your email address state okay you can then look out for the location amount you need just come here you can just type two maybe two, uh, two point five million or two million uh, it must not be two point five million okay then you go here this thing is very important if you don't have smidan certificate please take a look at the description below okay i've made a video on this or you take a look up here you are going to see how to process this certificate in five minutes when you process it if you take a look at my video on how to process a um, smidan certificate i have made a video on that so in five minutes you can process smidan certificate and get it just follow the step okay or you go to smidan register.ng but if you don't know how to do that, please just watch my video. You can take a look at the description below. Click the link to watch that video. Now, take it says, why do you need the the why do you need the loan? Very simple. You just explain what exactly are you going to do. You need the loan if it is to establish uh, a new business, if it is to expand existing business. You just let them know if it is for school fees, for house rent. You let them know. Okay. Remember, you let them know. Okay. Now you can also come here to modify to check for order other loans okay you can also come here to modify so if you're also interested in bank of industry loan gtb loan uba loan please take a look at the description below i have provided the links you can watch the video there are many loans uh, going on now that some people are not aware of okay my name is ejz please follow like this page subscribe for more of this god bless you Thank <laughs> you.